13 love, 13 knowledge, 13 wisdom, 13 respect. This is your creation 13. Thoughts on angels and demons. Um, this is where you got to really look at the origin of those names. Angel goes to in Angelos, which is Greek. But if you break down those words, you got the in uh, or just a little bit of research you get the Igni which is a Hindu fire god right it's the same definition we got these fiery fiery ones or light bringers light bearers uh, they're that there to help you protect you things of that nature right uh, and then demons is daemon and you, you look up the root word for daemon just means it's a de it's in a deity of some kind it has uh, specific job codes that it does whether it's good or it's bad right um, demons is a later word uh, that's just basically misunderstood <laughs> um, altogether it's just kind of like one of those scapegoat words of like don't know what it is but if it does bad things, we're just going to call it a demon, right? Um, so we really have to look at at the source of these deities, right? Or the source of these spirits in general. Um, I was watching a little bit of an audio book by uh, Manly P. Hall talking about um, spirits and the ethers and things of that nature right so we have spirits we got deities that live within the ethers that live within the spirit realm right and if you want to ever get real close to two spirits it's at nighttime it's at nighttime they hide in the shadows and when there's no light it's their playground it's their playground. They can jump on you. They can attach to you. Um, whatever they are, whether it's you know, and you got you got skinwalkers, you got shapeshifters. Those are physical entities as well. So there's so many different ways these deities can attach to you or interact with you. Without even knowing it that's why if you have any strange thoughts they're not your own but it's attached to a deity of some kind and it's breaking down what it is why it's there what its job title is and what is it doing attached to you and how did it attach to you right um, when you deal with spirituality when you deal with religion right you're conjuring spirits all the time right and that word conjuring turns a lot of people off because they don't understand it right in church you ain't gonna learn what what conjuring means right but you do learn how to summon spirits which is the Holy Spirit which is Jesus Christ which is God which is the angels right the ends the fiery ones um, but they all have different job titles but you're conjuring these spirits. You're keeping these spirits alive. And in turn, with the church, the church teaches you to continue to conjure up the evil spirits, right? Always teaching you about, about perceived hell and um, which I can talk a little bit about hell and uh, different thoughts of hell video. But uh, they keep a very negative outlook on things they bring the, the spirit of fear into it so they conjure up the spirit of fear they conjure you into these different spirits uh, to keep things afloat right be like hey I'm gonna slap you on the wrist if you don't follow God or if you don't follow Christ right um, it's psychology and with psychology uh, it's a very manipulative it's a, man a manipulative spirit that's what's happening it's a manipulative spirit any anything manipulation love joy sadness stress 
there's a spirit attached to that. There's a deity attached to that. Right? We conjure these spirits up every minute, every day. Um, and we're saying spells every single day with spirits attached to them, aware, unaware. We conjure up these spirits all the time. So even if you call them angels and demons, there's going to be specific titles based upon what you're what you're conjuring or what you're mixing in your reality, right? Um, the whole mixing of DNA. There's all these things that are talked about in ancient history um, with our ancient ancestors talking about the mixing and breeding of DNA, right? You think of the physical vessel, but it's it's spirits blending and mixing these spirits and the ethers and just creating, right? You know, you're a creator. You're an architect. We're creating in this reality. In turn, you're conjuring spirits all the time. And one of my thoughts today was when you conjure up or summon these spirits, what price do you pay? Do you pay to these spirits? Right? Are you working together? Are you one? Uh, did you give something to them? Does it make them something more? How does that work, right? Um, with the word God, again, a later word created by the Vatican. Research key. Jesus Christ, later word, right? Um, created by the Vatican. So what are these spirits that we conjure up, right? You know, we think of love, creator, God, father, things of that nature, right? But those are really titles that are also spirits as well. So father spirit, um, uh, Jesus spirit, Christ spirit. Um, Jesus would, would it started with an I, so it would have been Jesus spirit, right? There's many different, any word, you change that word, say my name's Adam, but you could be Adama or Adem um, or Ad or I am, right? Um, there's so many different spirits attached to those names, to those A-E-I-O-U uh, elements, right? Or with Hebrew, they say, oh, it's, it's uh, the words are alive. Yeah. Because it's spirits, right? Um, this English language this is a lot to cover all together. Um, this English language is a reverse language that is the total opposite of our nature, right? Uh, we're supposed to be speaking in tongues. Wow, speaking in tongues. That's a religious term. But if you go overseas, whether it be Japanese, Chinese, um, whatever language, they speak with their tongue. We speak through a reverse language, right? It's a language. It's not speaking in tongues. And it's, it's very, very interesting. Um, and what kind of spirits does this reverse language conjure up as well, right? Um, man, there's just so many things you can discuss with that. So at the end of the day... Thoughts on angels and demons. Research is key. Um, it's not simple. It's not simple. But it's in plain sight. Right? Um, I've been watching some people. Um, just kind of get, getting ideas on people's thoughts on these. And where people stand. Right? Um, and trying to eliminate opinions. Um as a whole, right? Because this is an opinion. This is uh, doing research based on personal experiences, right? Because you have to, you have to research and do, do the work, right? And it's not, you know, it's just basically just sitting through praying and sitting through meditation and talking with the spirits. You're not summoning them or uh, conjuring them up you put your shield up this is what I was taught this is what Christ taught me put your shield up 
and uh, you can talk to these deities and they can't break that shield um, if they're lower entities oh, they'll try to persuade you um, but you have to say yes to them you have to say yes so you can talk to these deities and learn about them but they don't have to attach to you they'll still try to when you're sleeping when you're out there at night uh, if you're drinking or sleeping with somebody right um, those are rituals that create entanglement cords that conjure up spirits at the end of the day um, so hopefully this helps you dig deeper into things again angel angelos or the in e n look up that enlel inky right it's in the bible uh I, like i always say download e sword which is just e then sword and you can learn these root words and the ins are in there a lot the fiery ones um and demon daemon is just a deity with a title um and that's it good or bad it's just a daemon which is quite quite interesting right um you can go into the djinn but they're their own deities as well right um they have a specific title and job code that they do right um which would be a category like I said, daemon is just a deity, so they would be considered a daemon. The ends would be considered a daemon because they're deities, right? Uh, so it's just learning what these words are, the mechanics behind them, um, and getting rid of the selective nature and getting to the mechanics behind what these spirits are, how they're affecting your life, how they can improve your life, right? But also being aware of what kind of price do we pay um, and what we ask, right? Be like, oh, hey, I just need a sign, right? That's something little, right? That would be just a little price to pay. But if you ask for something bigger, it's going to be for a bigger price. And, and how big is that price? It's hard to say. So, you know, I just encourage you just to pray and meditate um, and just learn about these. Ask Christ if that's where you're at, ask Christ um, how these deities work and just things will be revealed to you, right? Just one step at a time as well. So yeah, so anyways, longer than I thought, but uh, hopefully it helps you guys in your research and go from there. So love yourself, keep shining bright. I'll talk to you later.